Hi there, just a quick video about an assignment that we have uh, that is due on October 15th. Your band instruments are really, really, it's really important to keep them clean. They're really, really expensive. And uh, these are some basics that we all have to do in order to keep our instrument clean. And so there's a little assignment just to teach you a little bit about it. And it's due October 15th. It's a video that students are going to make about uh, cleaning their instrument. They're going to show me that they know how to clean their instrument and that they have done it and that they have all the supplies. So those are kind of the goals. You can work on this assignment alone or in pairs. Uh, you can use your camera, YouTube, Vine, iMovie, Haiku Deck, any kind of media app that you want to show me what you've got. Uh, show each supply item that you need that's required for your specific instrument. Um, and maybe it would be helpful to have the, um, the PDF or the sheet of paper right next to you so you can check off the list and go right through the list as it's assigned. Number five, you're going to demonstrate yourself cleaning the instrument. Um, you could do this in fast forward if you want to do a time lapse thing, you could. Um, and uh, the cleaning is mostly for brass and woodwinds, percussionists. Obviously, you could dust off your instrument and maybe wipe it down with a damp cloth, but uh, and keeping it clean is important, but it's not as important uh, as it is for the brass and the woodwinds to keep the mold out of their instrument. Mold feeds on sugars and starches, and the gases that come off of it, um, all of that can cause problems. It's not safe, and um, people have been known to get sick and have respiratory problems because of that. So it's important to keep your instrument regularly cleaned, and there's a few different cleaning schedules that you need to follow. Please make your video fun and interesting. Have fun with it. Uh, it shouldn't take too long because you probably already have all of these supplies and you probably already know how to do this. Uh, you can purchase any of the required materials from me after school, right after sixth hour. It just takes a few seconds. You come to the band office and uh, hopefully if you have exact change, we can do things just within a few seconds and you're off to the bus. Uh, we sell everything, um, everything that you might need. And uh, it's, it's probably the cheapest option and the easiest option. Uh, a lot easier than going to a music store, but you're welcome to go to those stores and uh, pick up stuff on your own or, or order them online, too, for all that matters. All right. Make your purchases and clean your instrument and turn in your video by October 15th. That's the due date. The prices are on my website, which I will show you in a little bit, um, under Band Store. That's the link. And there are sample videos available on my YouTube channel that you can watch and see other students completing the project so you can see what to do. And the instruction sheet is also available on Schoology. So let's go to Schoology and see what the students see here. Um, under Assignments, you're going to find Instrument Maintenance Check Worksheets. So you'll come in here. Um, you can see a bunch of different instrument maintenance videos. Let me go ahead and click on that. And you will see kind of a random list, you know, flute disassembly and assembly, woodwinds and how to fix sticky pads, trumpet assembly, low brass, trombone, trumpet, clarinet, flute. It kind of goes all around. And uh, there's a few things that you should watch. So each instrument has something there to look at that gives them a piece of advice on how to do this project from a professional's standpoint. Uh, next would be the different checklists. I'll try the woodwind maintenance check. So you can see here uh, everybody needs to complete or to have all the things in this checklist, okay? And then some special things that each instrument needs uh, unique to their own instrument. And then finally on the page two here is a link to those videos I was just showing you, followed by the daily cleaning regimen, weekly, monthly, and then as needed. So that is the cleaning schedule for them. We can go back and we'll t check out the brass one. They have a different, different set of needs. Um, they do need to buy all of these same things. Most of you already have them. And then specific to each instrument, the additional stuff that you need. And then in the back, again, a link to that video series. And then the daily, weekly, and as needed um, cleaning regimen. Now for brass, there's also this monthly requirement of giving the instrument a bath. That actually helps you clean out the inside soaks the tubes a little bit and, and uh, loosens up whatever's in there and then you scrub it out with the various devices that you purchase. There Again, there are videos on how to do that. Um, let's go back to the worksheets. And we'll look at percussion. So 
Just a quick glance to see required things to purchase. Um, you can always ask your friends what uh, what they have and see what's needed. Percussion, the, the part that's not as necessary for you guys is the cleaning because you don't uh, accumulate mold and uh, water and spit and stuff in your instruments. So that's important for those percussionists to have those supplies as well. And then finally here at the bottom is how you submit your maintenance video. You go in and you could, over here on the right, it's going to have submit. Uh, and that's what you'll see when you go into that. Now, uh, I did mention that on my website, you'll find the prices. So why don't we go there? Mr. Anderson's music website. Obviously, I'm going to click on band, and there it is, band store. There is in some information about instruments and the band store. I put them both on the same lineup. So here's all the instrument stuff that you need to know about followed by stuff we have for sale. Music supplies can be purchased in the band office before and after school. I prefer after school because before school we all have stuff to do. We have first hour to get to, so I'm going to say after school only. Uh, woodwind players, everything that you could purchase is right here with a list of prices. Brass players, what you need to purchase. And percussionists, and everything is for sale, like I said, right here in the band office after school any day. I hope that uh, helps explain the band maintenance project that is due on October 15th. Again, you can do it in pairs or uh, in small groups if you'd like to have some friends over and get it done. Maybe get some, um, get some pizza and make this video, have a lot of fun with it. Uh, it shouldn't take more than the amount of time it takes to clean everything. So uh, just get your materials together, find a nice spot on the floor, and uh, be careful with the cleaning in the tub and um, enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Good luck.